Good morning, everybody, and this is my spread for Sagittarius. And the reason I'm, I'm going to start with Sagittarius this month is because last month I wasn't able to get all of them done in time, and I'm very, very sorry about that. I had a lot of stuff I had to do, and I had a lot of work I had to do. So as a repayment and favor, I'm going to, because I what I usually do with my readings, I usually start from the very beginning of the zodiac signs. I always start with Aries every month, and but this month, because because I didn't do all the readings or all the I didn't finish all the signs for last month like I should have done again very sorry this month as repayment I am going to start with the signs that I didn't do last month that are missing <laughs> so 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 sorry about that so so the last reading I did was for Scorpio so now for this month I'm going to start off where I did not finish, okay? Because usually, again, I try to start in the beginning of the zodiac, but for this month, I feel like I owe it to the signs that I didn't do last month. So I'm gonna start with Sagittarius for this month and go down the line, okay? So lucky Sagittarius, you're number one. <laughs> so for you, um, for your, I shuffled and concentrated before, right before laying out my cards. So I did pull for your jobs and career, I did pull the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords. For your money and finance, I drew the Three of Wands and the Eight of Wands. For family, I drew the Empress next to the Five of Swords. And for love and relationships, I had pulled the Seven of Swords next to the Ace of Cups. Um, for your goals, I drew the Two of Pentacles next to the Page of Wands. And your unexpected is the Page of Swords next to the Knight of Cups. And your advice is the Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Coins. And um, if anyone would like their own individual, individual personal uh, tarot reading or numerology reading, or if you would like any kind of reading from me, you can click on the link below my description bar and book a reading with me or order, or you can order a reading with me. Okay, so Sagittarius, with work and career, because I always start with work and career. If you're new to my videos, I always start with work and career. I always start at the top and it kind of zigzag and anyhow. Um, with this combo, because of the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I do feel that um, a lot of you are or was going through um, a bit of stress in your work or business environment, okay? Because some of you have been possibly maybe trying to find more rational solutions to problems, but some of you may have been feeling kind of stuck, unable to do so. It's kind of like many of you may feel that your advice has gone to waste. Another plot to this pair uh, does show that someone that possibly that you work with has maybe felt abused or mistreated by their boss or manager or coworker, and that this person may be an air sign most likely okay like a sun moon or rising of a libra gemini or an aquarius due to the king of swords is a, the swords are usually associated with um air signs okay um I do feel some of you have been stuck in a job position recently or that there may have been a situation that had occurred that you weren't able to get out of and you kind of felt trapped. And for some of you, um, the King of Swords may have to do with legal issues at work, okay, or business transactions that cause some problems. So I do feel that some of you have been going through feeling very apprehensive about work in general or this will this is what i see possibly happening this month okay so overall this could be a a little bit of a stressful month for you in terms of work although not trying to sound incredibly negative because now everybody gets worried i don't see a job loss so much i just feel like a lot of um with the king of swords is very a logical person and sometimes we have emotional issues that we need to address at work and instead they're thought out maybe just only logically and that could make some of you feel kind of like trapped where you feel like you cannot um maybe there's a boss or coworker that you want to kind of explain a situation a little bit better in a more emotional rational way but the king of swords shows that this person may not want to discuss things that way and they just want it they're just maybe maybe your boss or coworker is just sort of a matter of fact kind of person get to the point I don't want to deal with anything and you're you just feel like you can't like change anything because of that so it just seems like this person is an influence due to the you know whenever you get a court card like a king a queen a knight or a page that's usually when someone specific is in the situation that's either calming that or or uh, ca not calming, I'm sorry. I mean, causing that or is influencing that, well, well whatever is going on there, okay? Um, 
I also pick up on transportation. Any of you guys that work in transportation, just be a little bit more careful because I pick up on that there could be a not don't panic or anything, but maybe a slight accident and it, it could be small. I feel like you'll be okay, but your car may not. So if you are like, a, I don't know, a pizza delivery person or a bus driver, or you work in a BART station, just be extra careful and cautious, okay? Although I'm just picking that up for me. So um, just something to be aware of. So now that you know, you can probably just know ahead of time, just be extra careful, okay? Um, now for money and finance, which is actually pretty positive here. Um, although they're not really coin cards or, or pentacles, but they're still positive. So <clears throat> very sorry for money um, with the three of wands and the eight of wands. I do see that things might have been slow recently um, or or it might feel a kind of slow in the beginning of this month. But it looks as though things um, may be starting to pick up finally because the eight of or will be OK, um, because it shows things um, moving quickly or that any delays are coming to an end financially, okay? So I feel that some of you may almost lose some kind of opportunity about money, but suddenly takes a turn for the better. Like, ooh, I almost lost that. Okay, and I didn't. Could be a job opportunity, even though... Um, this isn't really your job category, but like I said in my other videos, I'm like a broken record, sorry about that, but your finances usually have, are associated, can be strongly associated with your work and career um, cards because a lot of times that is your way of making money, okay? So it, it's kind of like some of you um, might get, um, without uh, promising, <laughs> Um, I'm very careful how I say this, but it's almost like some of you might get some kind of an unexpected windfall and this could be big or small, okay? I really think it's a windfall of an opportunity to make money due to the three of wands. It's all about opportunity and seeing from a distance, stepping back and seeing what, what might be passing you by or maybe something that you really... Um, are really deciding about not letting it pass you by. So seize the moment. And, and you know, if you do that, act on it quickly because the eight of wands is all about acting, uh, things happening very quickly, and things finally moving into action, okay? Um, of, you know, moving through the motions. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel with money though, you can expect a sudden improvement in your finances overall, okay? And lots of activity and possible a gift of money or that money comes from further away, like maybe overseas from a relative or some sort. Um, be careful of scams though. <laughs> Um, but it could be a long distance situation concerning money. Okay, so if you work in a business, maybe um, that's something you may um, be working. Maybe you're expanding your company or, or finding a new supplier out of overseas. Many big corporations do already, but maybe that's something you're going to do or find a certain supplier. Um, I also feel that many of you may feel or receive some kind of reward or financial reward of some sort. So just keep that in mind, okay? And it could be small. Again, I don't like to over, I don't like to sugarcoat, but I don't like to promise like, oh, you're gonna win the lottery, okay? A windfall can be a small windfall, um, but usually a windfall is a windfall. But um, with the Eight of Wands, you kinda, you just kinda go with the flow because it seems like things just suddenly take a turn for the better though, okay? So whatever it is, it looks to be improving for you, okay? Now with family, um, the Empress and the Five of Swords. Um, as for family, I feel some may, um, may be very nurturing and loving, shown by the Empress card, but because the Five of Swords comes after and not ne you know next to it, and next to it, where's my head today? Um, I feel either this person, like this other person in your family, their, their sensitivity um, may begin to cause some issues, making either you or someone else a little upset or possibly wanting to reject this overbearing person, if that makes sense. On the other hand though, um, it could also mean that someone's feelings um, is nurturing and maternal, but their feelings may actually be like a front. <laughs> sort of like this other person wants to take advantage of you by using extra attention for you or to you. 
um, because the empress can sometimes represent some, you know, sometimes it, it is a mother figure or your own mother or a mother-in-law or an older sister or a grandmother. Um, this could be, it could be an aunt. It could be an older cousin, uh, like a woman. Um, this could be some of your wives, you know, this is family category. So it doesn't just pertain to relatives. It could be your own spouse. Okay. Or possibly an older woman, like I said, in the family or mother, etc. that may try to take advantage of you. But um, another possibility, uh, we see these two cards have a lot in common though, okay? Because the Empress is sort of like the caring mother archetype, okay? She also can be domineering, but she takes care of herself. And the Five of Swords card is about dominance and also being demanding, okay? And he demands what he wants for himself, okay? So, and, and I don't know, <laughs> that's something to think of because, you know, there's some uh, very different cards that actually have a lot of similarities in them, okay? So this combo also shows me that this relationship during June um, shows that someone may get his or her way and um, he or she will maybe want to be dominant dominating um this other family member may also um have been or will be very comfortable with their life because maybe they've been used to like getting being used to getting uh what they want all the time and maybe all of a sudden they don't okay and maybe uh start to throw a fit <laughs> um so let's just look out for this, okay? Um, I feel some of you may need to tell this person no, um, just learn to say no, or to take a stand, okay? Maybe uh, this pair could be also representing a need to uh, wake this family member up and tell them to stop letting others take advantage of them. Okay, so, uh, or maybe you're just gonna turn a family member down with something and they're trying, instead of getting mad at you, they just kind of overwhelm you with, but why, you know, and that feel sorry for me attitude. I don't know, sometimes that happens. So just kind of keep an eye on for that, okay? Um, with relationships, now I drew the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups, and with relationships, um, <clears throat> my throat this morning, um, I feel like this pair is showing a few things. Okay, for one thing, um, that someone may be wanting to take more time out to enjoy life. And um, this could be many of you wanting to maybe avoid work or take like a few sick days or a week even to spend more time with your spouse or significant other or a friend. It could be or, a ch or your child or sibling um, or number two someone is violating trust, especially if someone just got into a new relationship due to the ace of cups is all about newness, a new relationship, um, new beginnings, okay? Or maybe somebody has recently had a baby. Um, and or th number three, um, that someone is being sneaky or untrustful with their emotions or that someone you know it or is close to is possibly running away from their feelings when you sort of believe that what they are feeling is not the truth, okay? So it could be that someone is in denial about how they feel or that um, you or this other person may be possibly trying to kind of um, make an attempt about their emotions or that someone may be playing games with your emotions or vice versa, okay? For those who are single, um, some of you may have a strong desire to want to be in love and may seek uh, with wanting to start a new relationship. And those who are married or already in a committed relationship, I feel like you may be going through all the above or like a, maybe one or two of them, or that you may be feeling slightly alienated by your partner, okay? Um, it could also be showing some carelessness going on here. On another note though, I mean, someone may be wanting a baby, like I wanna get pregnant and someone else doesn't, like maybe your husband doesn't though, um, or vice versa, maybe the husband wants a baby and you're like, not yet, I don't want to, or someone may not be as happy about the news of a pregnancy, that happens, unfortunately. Um, some of you may be going through where the father is abandoning you, or that perhaps some of you um, may become pregnant and that you don't know or may have some trouble about keeping it a secret. Um, or some of you may not decide um, or know what you want to do about your pregnancy just yet. And that's okay. I'm just throwing that out there. Due to this, you know, the card is often associated with um, the Seven of Swords can be, is often called like the Lone Wolf. Okay. And some of you may feel like um, 
kind of like you may feel like you're going about something on your own, okay? And I, I'm not saying it's all gonna be, um, oh, you're pregnant, uh, oh, he's gonna leave you. No, but that does happen, and that's not the only meanings of this pair. I just threw out a bunch of meanings, what they, because they can mean a few things. Um, they always say a picture has a thousand words. Well, so does a tarot card. And then if you add another card into the mix, well, then you have um, 3,000, 2,000 words, <laughs> 2,000 meanings now. Um, but you really, I'm not trying to panic anybody, but just be aware that what someone else wants, someone else is, tr or P, you know, sometimes it means someone's trying, like I said, trying to attempt to, um, find a new love okay i mean uh, hopefully no one's cheating on somebody but uh i'm not gonna I, I will throw this out there um the seven of swords is someone sneaking around and uh, the ace of cups is somebody new so maybe this person in your life or maybe it's a friend's husband or maybe it's a friend's wife that is secretly looking for someone new and but maybe they're not you know obviously if you're single you don't need to sneak around but if you are committed that's kind of like sneaking around. So um, just uh, leaving all these possibilities and meanings open for you to make it, um, you can make sense of what it might be happening with you. Okay, so let's go to your goals for the next, this month. Sorry, it's June today. So happy June, by the way. <laughs> I'm late on that. Okay, for your goals, Sagittarius. Um, this combo shows that a lot of you may be wanting to try very hard to keep things in balance. Okay, the page of pentacles. I'm sorry, two of pentacles. Um, balancing, balancing, balancing. Okay, you're going to be wanting uh, to maybe to ref uh, kind of refuse to let some changes happen. But at the same time, you kind of want to remain optimistic and open-minded to new challenges and opportunities. Or that you may want to handle directions more easily this month. Okay, kind of as if a lot of you will be wanting to be graceful and effective at the same time time and many of you will be wanting to stay flexible for the most part the page does bring opportunities for passion so i feel like a lot of you want to experience uh, more um, expansion of creativity so i do feel like this is a lot of what your goals may be this month especially so especially if you have another um if, if, if some of you because this is the sign of sagittarius but it also um, pertains to the other fire signs like Leo and Aries. So um, with wands. So if any of you have, if you are Sagittarius with a rising or moon Sagittarius or Aries or Leo, then I really think this comes to you more strongly. Okay. So you may, um, I think a lot of you are, you, a lot of your goals may be wanting to have more excitement. Um, without sounding judgmental, I feel like some of you might want to create more drama. Uh, not all, well, I don't want to say drama, but maybe even some people create drama just to have something going on in their life. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not judging, just saying that. And, and sometimes it's okay, <laughs> I guess. Um, but that's, um, some some of the possibilities here um but just in general i feel like um a lot of you just want to break up your old routines you know you want to become more enthusiastic kind of like you want to be a kid again or go through the same or i'm not saying but some kind of enjoyment okay and i also feel that a lot of you may be also wanting to express your individuality and power much more this month okay because so, often this page of wands is usually telling you that when you see a chance to act on it okay kind of like the eight of wands or well, the eight of wands is basically things are going to happen so you better hold on but the page of wands is telling you to kind of act on that that challenge that the opportunity will bring you, but just still kind of keep everything in balance, okay, with the, when it comes to the two of pentacles. This is not really bad at all, so it would make sense if this is what your goal is this month. So I feel like um, both of these cards do show that you want to kind of stir things up differently. That's why I feel like I, I threw in the little, maybe some of you want to create some drama. Mm-hmm. And go with the flow and possibly let some new adventures fall in your lap, okay? So let's go to your unexpected this month and with the page of swords and the knight of uh, knight of cups um now i do feel like um this these two cards show some possible unexpected developments in love romance or personal affairs interesting isn't it see that see the kind of same thing that's going on here you want excitement but you want to remain flexible someone's looking for something new and emotions or love or 
a wanting to get away, um, like I, whatever I was saying earlier, the Empress turning someone down, that's maybe, um, for some of you Sagittarius, is maybe you wanna get away from your over-emotional spouse and have some fun, but maybe not really a fling, but because that's your goal and this is what happens unexpectedly, okay? So, like I said, sometimes the whole reading um, as a whole um, corresponds with each other, okay? So, with this pair, since we're done with, sorry about that, with your unexpected, back to this. Um, like I said, it could be personal affairs that might happen. There may be an unexpected surprise by the return of an ex-lover. Okay, I'll just leave that. And, um, or a possible turnabout in matters of the heart, but um, does look to be more positive than negative if that's what you're, if that's what happens. Um, I do feel that this unexpected incident may involve someone who is an air sign, like a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? And I will throw in that a, re a little, I forgot to tell you this also, that the Seven of Swords is also associated with air signs, and the Ace of Cups is associated with water signs, okay? So, um, this, you know, the page of swords is related to messages and communication. So, um, this message may be some sort of offer or negotiation brought by the Knight of Cups, okay? And I feel that this page showing um, that someone or you may want to kind of um, dig around and find something about or find out about someone or you, um, the page is kind of like a detective and there's a definite thought behind this page. So it does seem as if someone may try and pesk you for questions and answers and that this may have something to do with love or romantic involvement or an interest of some kind. Oh, say, oh, so just keep that in mind. Um, it could also be a verbal message in general from a younger person that may bring about something you don't want to hear, but this still may spark your interest to want to find Find out more due to the Knight of Cups, okay? So just kind of expect that this might happen this month, okay? Now, for your advice card, Sagittarius, I drew the Ten of Pentacles. And for your advice card, um, the advice presented is basically to focus on the home, family, and domestic matters, okay? So try to establish better relative, or, oops, where is my mind today? Relations with others, <laughs> okay? I feel like this card is also trying to say, uh, spirit says, uh, stick close to those who support you or the way you want to feel about yourself, okay? And that your best success will come through areas related to friends, family, um, the home, and or even personal appearance. Um, but just really try to focus um, more on family this month overall, okay? Um, a lot of times also the, the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Coins, I always call them coins, um, can also do with money long-term or just long-term committed relationships. Maybe there's something, um, maybe this has nothing to do with cheating. Like I said, it could be just emotional um, abandonment. Okay, somebody a, a ban wants to abandon their emotional well-being, so it could be that maybe you just need to spend more time with family. Something's going on with relationships and family, whether it's your husband, wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, there needs to be something addressed, so I feel like this advice card is really a screaming out to me to just kind of maybe fix what's going on in your relationships because this an unexpectedly might happen, and this is what you want, and this is what, you know, it's just kind of, um, you know, like I said, just take everything with a grain of salt, but really try to focus on your family situation, okay? Even if it's just your intermediate family, it doesn't have to be long lost relatives, just the people that are the closest to you. Like I said, it could be a husband, a wife, whatever, a girlfriend, it doesn't mean fiance, just really try to, um, I really feel like that's what this card is advising this month, okay? Um, so this is your reading for this month, Sagittarius, and I will see you guys all in my next video.